In this video, we're going to have a look at redirecting the breadcrumb home button to the shop page. So at the moment, what you'll find here, for example, is if I'm on the beanie page and I want to go back to the shop and I'm looking at the breadcrumb and I click on home, it actually takes me back to the home page of the website. Then I have to go back to shop. Um, the same thing would happen if I was in a category. So here I am in the accessories category and I click on home and it takes me back to the home page of the website. Now what I actually want to have happen is that I actually want to be redirected to the shop home page, not the website home page. So here I have my uh, function running and if I'm on say the beanie page and I click on all products, then I'm redirected back to the shop page. And similarly, if I'm in my product, so I'm in an accessory page and I click on all products, then I'm redirected back to the shop home page. So that's essentially what we're going to look at achieving with a function then or two functions, one to change the name of the um, home portion of the breadcrumb and then the other one to change the URL for that home portion. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here, delete everything, save go back to the website and begin to refresh and then you'll see we'll be back to the default um, functionality of WordPress where or of WooCommerce where if you're on a product and you click on home you go back to the home page of the website so let's head off and let's have a look and see how we do that so the first thing we're going to do is change the name of home here uh, to um, whatever name we want so so to get started then, the first thing I'm going to do is create a function and that'll be vy underscore woo and home or woo shop underscore home. So that'll be the woo shop home and that'll be the woo shop home name. And the second function that I'm going to create will be the function for the underscore woo underscore shop underscore URL. So there are two functions that we need to do. And we've created the functions and I'm going to save that. And they're still going to do nothing because we haven't told them what we want them to do. So when it comes to the the shop home name, we're going to access um, an array or a, a variable which has a several array values. And that is called defaults. And the, this contains the defaults for the breadcrumb and the value in that array that we're after is the one for home and now what i'm going to do is go equal and now i'm going to give it my home page so i'm going to call this the shop home and then i'm going to close that off and now what i'm going to do is uh, return that value so now we're going to return defaults Right, so the default values come in. We're going to make a change to the, the value called home, and then we're going to return all the default values back, and they will include now that this value will now replace the existing value for home. So with that complete, then I'm going to save that. And now what we need to do is apply the filter because this on its own will do uh, nothing. And just to have a look and see what that means, I'm going to head over to the website and you'll see here that I'm still being redirected to the home page. So now we're going to apply the filter and the filter is where the magic happens. So I'm now going to add a filter. So add underscore filter. And the filter that WooCommerce has provided us with is called the WooCommerce breadcrumb underscore default so we're just going to go and have a look get those values and replace those default values and of course we're going to replace them with the values from this function and with that in place i'm now going to save and now you'll see that when i head over to the website and i refresh you'll see now that the home is now called the shop home and it doesn't matter where i go in the breadcrumb it's always going to say shop home oh, whoops the URL still hasn't been fixed though. So although it says shop home, we're still being redirected to the website's homepage. So let's change that breadcrumb now to something 
that's a little bit more user friendly. So what we need to do is we need to get the permalink or the yeah, the link to the shop page. Now there are two ways of doing that. So what we're essentially just going to do in this is return that link. So return and I'm going to go get underscore permalink. And now I need to tell it which page to get the permalink for. And to do that, I'm going to just go into my sh my website. We're going to head over to pages. And I'm going to scroll down here to my shop page. And if I hover over the shop page, I can see in the bottom left-hand corner that post is equal to 50. So the ID of that page is 50. So I can simply put the 50 between those brackets, hit save, head over to the website now, and head over to shop. And now wherever I go and I click on that shop home, I'm going to, and I should be going back to the home page of the shop and not the home page of the website. So let's just do that again. And I go to shop home. And the reason why I'm not being redirected is because we need to apply the filter. So add filter, and now we're going to go um, the WooCommerce underscore red crumb underscore home underscore URL. And of course, we want to put the name of our function in there and now we save and now when we go to the website and we refresh you'll see now that we are redirected to the shop and no longer being redirected to the website homepage. so that's how easy it is then to redirect your shop back to the shop homepage instead of the website homepage. of course there's another way to get the permalink for the um for the shop page way to get the permalink for the home page is to actually um, programmatically just get the um, home page as you've set inside the WooCommerce um, settings. So in the WooCommerce settings you have um, the option here um, to select the home page. Right and so what we're going to do is irrespective of the settings that you set over here we're going to set it up to always get the um, shop page. So to do that, we're going to um, get the permalink in another way. So we're still going to go return get underscore permalink. But now what we want to do is get the shop page for WooCommerce. And to do that, we're going to go WooCommerce underscore get underscore page underscore ID. And we're going to say get the ID for the shop page. And now we're going to save that. And when I head over to the website and I go into product and I click on shop home, you will see that I'm now on the shop home page. You'll also notice here that the um, slug is not home. The slug here is all products, but I'm still being redirected to the correct page for the shop whether I'm looking at a product or whether I'm actually on a, um, an, a, an archive. If I click on Shop Home, I'm redirected to Home. So the other, uh, only other thing to check then is what happens if we change the name of Shop? Will this um, return get permalink still work? So what I'm going to do now is head over to the um, pages on the website. And I'm going to head down to my Shop. And I'm going to change the name of my shop to um, my products. And we'll save that. Now we'll go and look at all pages. And you'll see now that the um, uh, we have the my products page is here. And it's still listed as the shop page. So I'm going to go into WooCommerce. I'm going to go to Settings. In settings, I'm going to go to products, and you'll see now that the shop page has changed to my products. So everything has changed to my products. I'm going to refresh the page here. I'm going to head over to a product, 
if I hover over shop home and I click, I'm still directed to the shop home. So the, um, the permalink, um, if we set it using this snippet where we say get permalink and the WooCommerce get page ID shop, it doesn't matter what we call that shop. It's always going to default back to the home page for the shop. So that's a far better way of doing it because then if you make a change, um, you don't need to go in and change the page ID as we did with the previous method. This method then will ensure that you always redirect it to the shop home page. Well, that's how you can fix the uh, breadcrumb in WooCommerce then to redirect you to the correct home page uh, for your shop. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching.